In this After Effects tutorial, we're going to have some fun creating these blooming geometric flowers, and hopefully you'll learn a couple tricks and tips in the process. My name is Justin Odisho, thank you for checking out another video, and let's get started. So the first thing we're going to do is open a new composition. Now just for example, I'm going to set my composition duration to one minute, but you can make it however long you want or need, and I'm just going to leave it at the standard HD size to work with. So getting started, let's go to Layer, New, Solid, and just create a black background for us to work with. Next, I'm going to create another black solid. So in this case, I'm just going to Command D to duplicate this one. And on this top layer, we're going to start building out our shapes. So I'm going to head over to the Effects and Presets panel on the right-hand side and search for one called Radio Waves. I'll click and drag that onto my top layer, and you should see it begin to generate these cool radio waves. But I'm going to make some adjustments from the default settings in the effect controls panel. So let's drop down the polygon section of the wave type and change the amount of sides. Right now it's at 64, which makes it a circle, but I'm going to make it 6 so we get this cool cube looking thing. Next we want to adjust some things about the frequency and expansion of this radio wave so that it's less little outlines and more solid shapes. So first, under the stroke properties, let's increase the start and end width to be all the way at 100, so we have more solid looking shapes. And from here, you want to find a combination of frequency and expansion that closes the gaps on your image. The lower the frequency, the more slowly it will bloom and unfold in color, and the lower or higher your expansion, the more squeezed in or spread out your shape will be. But these are going to vary in relation to each other, so play around with it. I'm just moving up and down with the arrow keys. Now one thing I want to do is actually have the color randomly be generating, not just be blue like it's set by default. So holding the Option key on my keyboard, I can click on the stopwatch icon for color, and that'll open up the expression panel. So I can type in a mathematical expression. In this case, I'm just going to type random, and I'm going to give it a color value of 2, comma 1 comma 1 1 and close those brackets and parentheses and now what that did if I click this button you see it's generating this random spectrum of almost pastel seeming colors you can play around with what different color values would look like this is what 1 1 1 1 looks like but I kind of like increasing the reds uh, these this is kind of like red green blue values each frame is given a random color at birth based on this random expression that we've set. So that's pretty cool. We have this infinitely expanding hexagon of colors. But now let's experiment and give it a little bit more of a kaleidoscope feel. So I'm going to head back to my effects and presets panel. And there's a few different ones you can play around with, like CC Kaleida or Hex Tile. Since I'm using a hexagon, I'm going to play around with the Hex Tile effect. If I throw that on there, you'll see it kind of creates this honeycomb hexagon pattern. So I'm going to change the render type to fold seamlessly because I don't want to see those lines. And I'm also going to increase the radius and just kind of see what things look like when I press play. But it still seems a little bit plain and flat to me. So let's add some rotation on this hex tile to get things spinning a bit and add some motion to it. So instead of manually adjusting it, I'm going to add another expression here for rotation by holding Option and clicking on that keyframe. And for this expression, I'll just type in time, and that'll make it so that every second is a degree of rotation on the clock. So if you want to make that faster, let's do time times 10. And that'll make it so that every second things rotate 10 degrees. It's making things a little less static and also changing the shape from hexagon to a multi-pointed star from time to time and the colors are randomly generating so sometimes we get some cool combos but one more thing that we can do to add even a little bit more variation is within the hex tile pattern there's this smearing option so just to show you how it works if I increase this a lot you can see it kind of just smears and blobs things together I'm gonna add an expression onto the smearing as well by holding option and clicking on that stopwatch keyframe icon and for this expression, I'm going to use the wiggle expression, and let's make it at about 1, 10. That'll be the frequency and amplitude of the effect, so it'll never go up or down 
more than 10 on the smearing dial, keeping it somewhat gentle and not too violent, but you could play around with more or less gentle. But with this smearing and the rotation in effect, we've got some clockwise movement as well as back and forth blooming and smearing of the shapes, almost kind of making them look like flowers or fruits, in my opinion, like cut in half fruits. This reminds me a lot of the video game Kadmari Damasi. And as a few finishing touches, I'm going to add a vignette. So I'll search for the vignette effect. I'll throw that on there. That'll just kind of darken up the sides and add some lighting to the middle. And if you want, you can even stylize it even more with things like glow or really playing around with all of these different expressions and settings that we've done or adding different type of stylizations. So for example, maybe stacking another kaleidoscope effect on top of that, we get a completely different look or changing the organization of this to be behind the hex tile. We could change the look of things. And I'm sure there's all kinds of different combinations of expressions and adjustments that you can make to create all kinds of blooming geometric backgrounds and patterns. Now this could get pretty heavy to render, I've rendered out a 10 minute loop for you guys to check out of random blooming colors. So I'll leave a link to that if you just want to watch the video or use it as a background for anything or screensaver or something. If you enjoyed this video, you can leave a like on it below. Let me know what you thought in the comments and subscribe to my channel to stay tuned for all of my future uploads. Thank you so much for watching and I'll see you in the next one.